okay, I'm going to show you what the Biblical New Testament Church believes versus what the Apostate Catholic Church believes. Okay? So first of all, what does the Biblical New Testament Church believe? Well, first of all, the Biblical New Testament Church believes in the, the, the uh, sufficiency of Jesus Christ. Okay? Colossians chapter 2, verses 6 to 10. As you there, or sorry, I'll go make it larger. That's easier to read. As you have therefore received Christ, Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Be aware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the traditions of men, kind of like the Roman Catholic Church, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principality and power." You're complete in Jesus Christ. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 13 to 20. If you have a King James Bible, go there. Ephesians 2, 13 to 20. But now in Christ Jesus, who ye, ye who sometimes were made or far off, made nigh by the blood of Christ, for he is our peace, and who, who hath made both one, hath broken and hath broken down, not the best reading on a computer, I do apologize, broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh enmity even the law of the commandments containing contained in ordinances for to make in himself of twine a new one new man so making peace that he might so, sorry and that he might reconcile both unto god in one body by the cross having slain enmity thereby and came and preached to you which were afar off and to them that were nigh for through him we have both we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Now therefore ye are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Okay? He's our chief cornerstone. In first Timothy chapter two, verse five to six. First Timothy chapter two, verse five to six. For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in due time. Okay, Bibi The biblical New Testament church, the body of Christ, believes in the sufficiency of Jesus Christ. He is our mediator, and he is the only head of the church. While the apostate Catholic church, I've written in my notes, they don't believe this. The apostate Catholic church denies the sufficiency of Jesus Christ and has added other mediators and other intercessors in between Jesus Christ, Mary, the saints, and all this other stuff, popes, priests... They reject Christ as the sole mediator and teach that basically Christ is a mediator, but Mary is a mediator and the saints are mediators. They reject Jesus Christ as the sole head of the church and the popes have usurped themselves as the authority. They usurp Christ's authority and put themselves as the authority over the church. Of course, the Catholic Church is not the biblical New Testament church, but if they were, the pope is nothing more than just a usurper of Christ's authority. And they exalt themselves above Christ. Secondly, the biblical New Testament church believes in the sufficiency of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is all we need to lead us into truth from the Word of God. Sorry, just, that popped up. John chapter 16, sorry, John chapter 14, sorry, verse 26. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. In of course, John 16, verse 13. Howbeit, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth, for he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Okay? The Holy Spirit is all we need to show us biblical truth. Now, the Catholic, the apostate Catholic Church, they deny this. They deny the sufficiency of the Holy Spirit. The Catholic Church denies that the Holy Spirit is all you need to guide you into all truth. I mean, obviously, it is scriptural to learn off other people. But in terms of knowing the Word of God and reading the Word of God, all you need is the Holy Spirit. Okay, And they deny this. They teach you cannot understand the Word of God without the priest. So you have to submit yourself to the authority of the man. They're putting men above the Word of God. They don't, they don't believe in the sufficiency of the Holy Spirit. They believe they they put man above the word of God, and they submit, submit to the, the authority of the man, thereby blindly following every every word he says. 
And finally, the biblical New Testament church believes in the sufficiency of grace. Grace, according to the Bible, is a free gift. See Romans 3.24 and Romans 5.15-17. It's a free gift. But sufficiency of grace. Grace is a free gift. And it is sufficient for the biblical New Testament church. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 4-9. to But God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love, wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together by, with Christ, by grace ye are saved, and hath raised, up the, hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. That in ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace and his kindness towards us through Jesus Christ. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 6. Romans 11, verse 6. And if by grace, then it is no more of works, otherwise grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it is no more grace, otherwise work is no more work. Grace is not attained by good works. And Second Timothy chapter 1, verse 8 and 9. Second Timothy 1, verses 8 to 9. Be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, of our Lord, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of God, who hath saved us and called us with the holy calling, not according to our works, but according to his own purpose and grace, which was given to us in Jesus Christ before the world began. Okay? Now, the biblical church, that's what we believe in grace. It's a free gift, Romans 5.15 and Romans 3.24, and it's not attained by works. Now, the apostate Catholic church... They deny this. Like the other previous doctrines, they deny this. They deny the sufficiency of grace. The Catholic Church denies that grace is a free gift from God, and they believe that grace was given to the Church to control through the man-made sacraments. The sacraments have no scriptural basis at all, and that you have to receive grace through, through continual good works and continual obedience to the Church, which is a denial of these scriptures. Grace is not according to our works. So, those are just some of the many doctrines that the Catholic Church denies plain scripture on. Okay, these are what the this is what the biblical church of the New Testament church believes in the body of Christ, the uh, sufficiency of Christ, sufficiency of the Holy Spirit, and the sufficiency of grace. All of this the Catholic Church denies. So, Roman Catholicism is not Bible believing Christianity. Roman Catholicism is a pagan, Roman Roman. It's just basically Roman pagan religion repackaged. That's all it is. So, don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.